You see right now, all my pretty things, you make me have a bad relationship with my daughter, you know. And that me I gotta tell you, you know. And right now, you, you, all, you all make me not to all that deal with all my baby mother, you know. That me I try to tell you. Because, uh, yo, you you don't you, you even know right now, man, big sin of brother. Right now, you see me I talk about. Hold on, listen. You're mistaken. First and foremost, I cannot make you have a bad relationship with your daughter. That is onus on you. So with the on social media, Daddy. I go on, I go on normal right now. So big up, big up, big up, fans them. Daddy. Yeah, man. So, yeah, hold on, hold on, my people. So my daughter just come. My daughter come. Nice, nice, clean daughter. See her right now. You see, her, you see how she favor me and she nice. Yeah, man. So as a father, I don't have to know say yo. I don't have to show up on the youth and I don't have to take care of them. Cause you don't know them my future. You see me. So you have to take care of your daughter. But she can't link me. So you don't know some of the reason with my daughter and things. So big up on yourself. Continue to go and watch, watch me on social media and go and support me thing. You see me? Big up on yourself. Good day. I am out. Daddy. So what uh, about my daughter? I know what so I do. I lunch money me come to you for pick up school. Right. It. You know, see, I want bad time, you know, my daughter. Janu, I want bad time, you know. So here what happened? Oh, so me next pick me. I come here. What you want to? Yeah man, I'm on one of them, so so you go. Um, no, don't don't trouble the pipe. Don't trouble the pipe. I'm done wash your hands. All right, wash your hands. All right, go on back in now. Go on in back. Mm -hmm. So now, me not have no money. The last little money me have, me have to buy some pampas cream and thing. You see me? So you don't worry yourself, man. By next week, me get a piece of food. So as soon as me get a piece of food, me will just shout. You hear? You all right though, here? You all right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so later then. Tell her, don't tell, 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 tell her mother too much, you know. Just, 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 just tell him say no see me. All right. All right, yeah. Wait, I'll put your All right, go on, go on out of the go play. Hello? Mama, mama. Hey, don't trouble that, that dirty. That dirty. Sorry about that. I'm a daughter, I'm a daughter, man. My next little daughter. Yo, so you see I go on now. Bill no man, you have to talk about me have the money man. Me have come here foot look more man. Yo, that move like I sell you sell me sell me something now man. Alright, mama. Look more, me have come here foot here. And tap act me act about money man, me have the money man. Just just bill. Alright? Yeah man, later. Alright. Afternoon, Uncle Chaz. <laughs> what's going on, what's going on, Angel? How you doing? I know, I said, I come to ask you if you could give me lunch money to go to school tomorrow, please. Okay, yeah, man, yeah, man, for sure. I have no problem in doing that. I want to let you know. So, all right. How much is it? $1,000. So, $1,000 for the day? Yeah. All right. I should be able to assist you. You say it's so $1,000 for the day. I'm really and truly no one, yeah. Be without, so here's what I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give you enough for cover here for the week and an extra 500 hours just in case you want something extra. Alright. No, man, man so you are going to go so quick. You alright? Yeah, me alright. You sure? Yeah. I'm going to check in by you and I want to know, say, I want you to know, you know, Angel, even though I'm not your father, you know. Why you be able if you can talk to me enough about any little thing? Alright, man. You sure? Mm -hmm. Remember, say, you can talk to me, you can come to me, even though your mother, you know, 
approve of every little thing we talk about. But I make you know say you can reason with me. Let me deal with your mother afterwards. Cool? She's okay too? Yeah, she done there. Get ready for work. She'll go work. Alright, then take it easy. Have a good day at school. Yeah, thanks. And remember to tell your mommy, uh, you what? Tell your mommy to give me a call when you get in, you alright? Alright, I'll tell her. Yeah, man, cool, cool. What are you doing? You're supposed to be at school. You know, said what that me come to you about. What is, what is, what is the problem? So, me do ask school. Wait, hold on, yeah man, man, hold on, yeah man. I could come out of the sun a little bit. Alright, come. Something must be wrong for why you don't do there in school. You must have a good reason. I me come to you to talk about, man. Alright then. What? Me do ask school, you know, uh, teacher suspend me. What are you saying? Get suspension. What? Angel, I thought he was a good student at school. Why would you get suspension? What is wrong? I don't know. So what ex What happened? They at school. I want to picnic fling. Paper and it came in my head. And he said, we can talk. Who do it? So true. Me decide. So. We not talk. Nobody not talk. So anyway, how we not talk? Well, we get suspended. She, but she cannot do that. It don't happen. No, she cannot do that. She cannot suspend you for something. First question is, did you throw the paper? I did not tell me a teacher day. So then, no, that is not right? Man, then you're not planning to tell your mother about this? Yeah, mad man. I'm going to tell mommy. That's I said, me come to you, if you could only go talk to them. Oh, you want me to come with you back to the school to go talk to them? Yeah. I can do that. I can do that, definitely. All right, then, hear what? By about midday, then, you think so we can go, actually go down here? Yeah, you can do that, yes. But in the meantime and between time, I think you need to prepare yourself because if your mother ever find out about this, now <laughs> yeah, you don't know how that goes. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Is this Ms. Candy Russell? Yes, speaking. Oh, yes. Uh, my name is Mr. Mr. Johnson, calling from uh, Higher High High School in regards to your daughter, Angel Russell. Um, I don't know um, if you are aware that, that you were supposed to do a second visit at the school um, because um, your, your husband or your, 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 your boyfriend, I'm not too sure of, came by the school with her um, some time ago in regards to her getting suspended. So there was supposed what? to be a... Hello, hello, sir. Hello, sir. You sure say my daughter involved in a whatever happened at the school? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm sure we have her name in the book here. And there was supposed to be a second visit. So I, 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 I'm just calling to let you know that you're supposed to come by the school. Wait, hang on. The, what 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 you just said, sir? They supposed to do a second visit. That means they came to the school already. Yeah, man. I, I don't. I, I thought you were aware of it. She and, and, and her um stepfather come by the school. No, 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 sir. I don't know nothing about anything that happened at Angel School. This is my first time I've been listening to this kind of news. I've never heard it before. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I, and I don't want to say that. I don't know what kind of condition they're running at your house. Because if you don't know, and, and, you, and your, um, your, 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 your husband or your boyfriend came by the school, I don't understand what's going on at your house. Party shop. Sir, are you trying to disrespect me? Huh? No, I'm not. No, you call me about my daughter, now you're talking about my home. So what are you? All right, listen. Get to the point. What you want me to do? Come down by the school or what? Because I need to know what my daughter get herself right, into. You don't, to, you don't have to come right now, but the date is set for the, 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 the fifth. So on the fifth, you must come by the school for a second visit. The fifth or the sixth? I mean the fifth. The fifth. 
Okay, of this month? Yes, man, the 5th of this month. You, are, you so, can just come by. Um, what was the name again? Oh, Mr. Johnson, man. Mr. Johnson. Okay, no, so Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, do I have to definitely come down by the school or you could just explain no, wh what my daughter no, do? No. It's just a second visit. Your husband tells me already. Your daughter really didn't do anything in there. It was just a case of um, somebody telling her like the teacher and nobody in the class really wanted to speak up. So we had to suspend the entire class. So that is why. No, no, I mean, no, but it looked like, no, no, sir, listen, listen. This thing is getting real serious. Somebody fling something and hit the teacher. And the whole entirely class suspend. So my daughter going to miss a lot of days out of the school because of other children doing wrong thing in the school. Listen, Miss Rasta, don't wait to your daughter to the thing, you know, because none of them in the class don't want to talk up. So it's possible that I'm your daughter to finance you. No, sir. Mm -mm. Me know my daughter. My daughter will never do such a thing like that because she know that she have a mad mama. All right, all right, all right. Um, um, so, so you'll come by school, man. We'll, we'll just finish iron everything. So come by school. And okay, all right, sir. Thank you for calling. All right, come on. Blood of Jesus. Angel! Yes, mommy. Come here to me. Come, come, come sit down right here, so Right here, so I have something very important to ask you about right now. I just received a call from a teacher at your school. Listen to me. When they call you down at your school, dean of what? Dean of discipline? Eh? Listen to me. The person who called me, he tell me say, what's his name? Mr. Johnson. He said, E. He's the dean of discipline at your school. Something happened at your school, and you came home and you did not mention it to me. But you run go tell your stepfather. And your stepfather even carry you down there already, which me not aware of that. If the teacher never called me right now, I would know nothing. So you got Jesus Christ, angel. Am I the one at me? Get up and go on in your room. Go on in your room right now. Outside that. Really? Chaz, me need to speak to you right now. It's urgent. Just left where they do or anywhere they and come down at the yard right now. Me a wait for you right right now. I want to talk to you. Yeah, it's serious. No, come. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Left where they do. Come now. Come now. I want to talk to you. All right. Welcome, babes. I'm to you. Just sit down, sit down. So, uh, me hear your sound away on the phone. I want to hear. Mother like to know where are my daughter in? Yes, where are my daughter in? Angel, me the talk. Where you are in too? I know Angel you talk. I'm just confused as to what you mean when me and she in. And then, no, 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 your daughter, no, my stepchild, what you mean when we in? I don't understand. Come, come straight, Candy. I don't understand what you're Chaz, talking about. I want to know what kind of secret you and Angel into. Why, if any little thing happen, is you, Angel, come to instead of me, where Angel mother? Eh? Can you imagine? Me they are good, good and get a phone call from Angel School, from the Dean of Discipline. And oh. the man say, he is not saying whatever happened at the school is Angel. And him now say I know she. And a matter of fact, you and Angel all go down at the school without my consent. Me not aware of that no at all. This is the first news to me. Me no know nothing about you. You no mention it to me and Angel no mention it to me. What happened? What they going between the two? No? This is what this is all about. <laughs> Sorry about that man. What you know Candy? I did bring Angel to her school and she did come to me. 
she came to me one morning and she explained the situation. But because I know that I had the time and me know say oh, you probably would have been busy and couldn't do it. So I, 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 I offered my help to assist her and bring her down there and get it started out because it wasn't anything serious. So I just deal with it. I did, however, tell her to tell you, I didn't know that she didn't mention it. You! To you. Things are not serious, and if it wasn't serious, then we wouldn't get suspended from the school. No, but it's it half is serious. And why? Why me couldn't hear about it, even if your things are busy and you just take it then from your head and go because you just take data, as you say, if I know not more than that between the two and you know? one. Why you never so you're not see me from that? You act like a friend last year, so from that day that happened, I don't you know, go down high school. Mm? Till you get different date to go again. Why you never mention it back to me? And I, babes. Why you never mention it to me none at all? I am sorry. I am very sorry. It must have slipped me. I should have, I should have said something. However, I thought your daughter had came to you and explained the situation. Because I would have rather you heard it from her as opposed to hearing it from me. And she just really never want you to get upset about the situation because, as me say, I did not consider it to be anything after hearing what happened. So that's why I felt and I took it upon myself to just deal with it. Why you never mention it to Angel and say, Angel, you need to make your mother aware of what going on I at your school. Did, I did say it to her, Candy, and she said, she is not comfortable speaking to you about it because she's in a bit of a fear. She's kind of afraid of you, to be honest. Babes, you come off a little bit rough some of the time, you know, and I just that she's she just afraid to come to you with certain little things, and that is the only reason. Nothing else behind it, no other as, as allegations. So you expect me to believe what you just said then? Baby girl, you alone may have eye for what do you mean? Your daughter is a part of our relationship. She is our child we are raising her together then obviously me have to play my role i have to be a responsible father and that is what a responsible father would do i would assist with the child because you were not there come on now babes you're you're, you're overthinking this thing all right man. me hear you say me go hope i saw it go no me go i go down at the school on the fifth you understand so me need to figure out what i go on down at the school and then me we get back to you anyway that is it that me call you about because I want to see what they go down between you and she. You say nothing no go nothing happen between you and her, nothing no go so, and me this and me that and whatever. Maybe take the blame. So you never spoke to her? I talked to her already, but you I did her? not mention you to Angel. Whatever me just said to you, nothing pertaining to this, I did not mention it to her. I want to say to you, you, be. because I want to hear from you. I can reassure you. Nothing of the sort, no foul play, no misunderstanding, all right? all right? And as I said, I am very sorry for not informing you, and I will try my best to actually just tell you everything which is happening if ever she come to me again with any farmer situations. All right, babes? All right, all right, me here. All right. You can go on back which what you went there and go do what you went there do or whatever. Me just want... So you yeah, did, Mr. No, man, you can go and go do... I know something you tell me, say you went there do. Everything good, man. All right, babe. So I'll come back in um, this evening. Come check it. Angel. Yes, Danny. Oh, what's going on? No. I'll pass, I'll pass, I'll miss my, my, my top. The daddy, I remember seeing my birthday. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, man, we're at top, woman. I remember seeing your birthday, man. I remember seeing your birthday. Alright, here yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to run down the town, go deal with one little thing, and don't worry yourself. I'm going to buy you one birthday cake, and I'm going to pick you up and carry you to the beach. Alright? Alright, daddy. Alright, so don't worry yourself. So just wait for me till I come back here. Alright, so don't worry yourself. Alright? Later. Alright? Yeah, man.
Come to your angel, all right? And daddy, me and wait pan can you say I'm going to buy cake and care me go beach. Who are you wait pan? Daddy. Your daddy? You should have known better. I know the first time him promise your things. And him say, him soon come with it and him not come. So you're not know, surprised about that. But now worry yourself. Are your birthday? Eh? When me have money, me will buy something for you. Don't worry yourself about it. Oh man, that's alright man. That's okay. Angel, cheer up yourself man. I hear you, you know. You think some dollar really make a day go and I get you a gift? Come on man. So me have a nice gift. We went out and got something nice for your birthday. So we have your cake and a nice little present for you, right? James? And a nice little gift with it. Yeah? Now for worry man. You think we're going to let you down like that? We'll never do such a thing. Man. Look in there and tell me if you love it. You love it? Wow, you have your name on it. Angel. Angel. Happy birthday. <laughs> as much as you're not my daughter, I consider you to be flesh and I consider, be, consider you to be family. So, you see a day like this, which is very special to you, it's going to be special to me. So, I'm going to take it in serious consideration and definitely ensure that I remember it and I always get you. So, this is from us with love. I right, always know, say, oh. Uncle Charles got your back, along with mommy. Holy bad, holy bad, honey. But I worry about you. Give your uncle a hug for your gift. Good girl. Happy birthday. Let's go inside. Come on, let's go celebrate. Tomorrow we can go to the beach. Mommy, can you say how? I say I'm going in a good direction. You know. I like that. I like it say how oh, you keep out a bad company. I like it say I keep your, your schoolwork at the forefront. I like it say I have manners to people. You never really did have to deal with me like how you deal with me. With respect, but you still do it. And I really do appreciate that. Isn't it? Because not a lot of people will respect them stepfather or show them respect stepfather the respect where you show me. And I love that of you. That's why I'm going to make you know say, oh, at any point in time, anything at all you want to talk to me about, you can come to me. Anything at all, don't feel afraid. If your mother is not available, you can always say to me, and I will ensure some of my best for assisting whatever it is that you want to talk about. Yes, Uncle Charles, I'm not going to let down your mommy. Angel. Yes, Daddy. Come and I want to talk to you. Yes, Daddy. Where am I, Daddy? You know, there you are. I have money you can't come give me, Daddy. No, right, right now, I'm not to have the money right now. You know. <clears throat> I don't have the money right now. Yo, you know what you do? My mother come, so I can't know, so I can't link him. You yes, then? Daddy. All right. Why go on candy? Why your face look so? Where are coming to me here to ask what my face looks so for? Me ain't things. Listen man, you don't have to go on. So. But anyway, you know that I'm coming from. I come here the other day to Angel and I see one little play, you know. What I don't like, you know. You act like me ain't things. Me ain't things. You don't mind me, you don't mind Angel. What you talking about? What kind of play? Look here, you all right. Let me, me, me cut three chairs. Come in, I want to go on. I want to be to one on bush, you know. You want to go on. Me come here and me come see Angel and your man on the veranda, you know. I mean, I like them little play, you know, because right now, me I tell you the truth, I don't trust nobody and my daughter, you know. That me I go make you know, you know. So, if you come in my yard where me and my man live and my child, all that concern you if you see the two of them on the veranda, ah, uh, let me tell you something. You see the man who you see on the veranda where they come style as my man. I'm going to be my husband. I'm a man for life. I am going to take care of Angel because you was not there for her. You understand? Oh, you mean something never did that? Yeah. Oh, yes, you're in Angel life. Where? What can I talk in that? You're in life? Yes. You're in life. You're in blood. You don't have the same blood guy. You're in, you're in, in, in sperm's donor, daddy. You is not no real father. You're not playing no father figure in a fear life. Our stepfather do everything for you. Who is you if you come for You're right, same probably I do everything. Yo, listen, man, I just want you to know, man. Angel, I get big, you know. 
I get big in and I know some of them little dirty man are turning man. So I just want to make you know, you know so I don't like them little play there in the candy. That I want you to know. You know. Look for you too. You could never compare yourself with my man. Angel's stepfather better than you. Play a father role in an angel life as a stepfather. You will be the biological father. Blood. You know, blood that you get angel and I know you know you know sustain or you know maintain or you know put no no child support. Not at all. He's a wicked daddy. You need to get out of my yard. And if you can't see a man on my veranda with angels sit down, that man is more than a man. Right. When do for angel as a stepfather? You need to come out of my yard. You need to find out and come ask. You understand? What is the problem going on in Angel life? Is everything is okay because you was not there for Angel and that man we see with Angel Panny Veranda in the day for Angel, right? Yo, yo, yo right now, no, no Ken Angel at school, boy. Yo, yo, yo. yo. You need to, yo, yo, your backside. You need to come out of my yard. You understand? Right. No? You are one, you know. You are one. You see, since you, you feel like say you want to do this for your own, you are your man, my angel. You understand? I me mean, want to do it for my own or you left Angel and me for my own. So I have to find a man where we support my child because you act like you don't exist. Yeah, but you don't tell me you're in the independent woman, you know. So, so you're independent, so do what it you do. It don't matter if woman independent. Me and you get that child. You understand me? I know me alone supposed to stand up and, and support Angel. You supposed to be there for right, Angel. You, know, you should you know, no shame. You see, you, you are your long, your long back of chatting and you're, you're tough talking. You are your man, my Angel. Me done with you now. You already really. the minor. Don't and that the man, man the way you sit on the veranda with Angel is Angel daddy from ever since. Angel stepfather come like a real father. You are not no, no, no come back in my yard. Who is you? You wasn't there for Angel, now you can't chat about that. That away, you is a sperm donor. Yo, Mr. Man. Me you talking to me? You see nobody else? You may talk to us. Angel's father, right? Yeah, man. Yo, Herb you work one. You see, right now, all my pre things, you make me have a bad relationship with my daughter, you know. I that me I go tell you, you know. And right now, you, you, all, you all make me not to all deal with all my baby mother, you know. That me I try to tell you. Because, uh, yo. Yo, I you, you don't even know right now, man, Bex in a brother. Right now, it's me I talk about. Hold on, Nessa. You're mistaken. First and foremost, I cannot make you have a bad relationship with your daughter. That is onus on you. The relationship that you have with your daughter, are you determined that? Me can't do that. Mm. The relationship where you have with your wife or your baby mother, sorry, are you cause all of that problem, sir? You can't blame me for that. I simply come in and I do the things them where you should have been the man stepping up to do. Not no no sit down and ramp around. Look here now, you have a daughter. You should have been stepping up to the plate and taking up your responsibilities. However, you slack off and it's fortunate for people like me mm. could have actually step in and do the roles them where you should have not played in your daughter's life. So don't blame me for your mistakes or your mishaps. You are right now, you know, I'm not even too at all. I shouldn't even bother even tap and say nothing to you right now, you know. No, that me I try to tell her because I see it's a style thing and candy. The one candy the pan, you know. No, you understand? No, no one style me with me youth, you know. And go on like say you want jumping like say your father. If you don't want to pick you know, go on and get picnic, brother. <laughs> we are come go on like say you want to come, come one up me picnic. Alright, you know, me, me, I'll tell Chandy something to trust man like a honey, you know. You understand? You know, see, see my daughter and I go and watch them and go and groom them. Yo, brother, remember say even though I'm not too mind the angel right now, you know. I have my eye upon you now with my up. I have my eye upon you. Just know that. I don't know how to expel. I don't know how to expel. I get, get so spent and I didn't even do nothing. Mm. Well, me here differently. I so spend me game. I don't get no expel. Anybody tell her that chat too much. I smell the feeling like a teacher. And you know, know who are you? Nobody in the chat. In suspend the whole away. Mm. So when you have to come back to school then? I go back tomorrow, you know, because parents could not be there when they pass it now already. Hello, miss. A big woman here turned for me. Who this? And what kind of conversation you out here so the whole? Mommy, I'm a friend from school. Friend from school? What do you mean? Me friend from school. So what the first me I see? I'm going to pick me this here. 
And this, uh, this uh, I'm a matter of fact, you sure say him a go to school? Mommy, I'm a friend from school. Him not look like him a go to school. Him look like a big man for you. We you stand up a fence out here so they talk about Angel? Eh? You see, you young girl when you don't read certain age, you know. Me not trust you, you know. Me not trust you a bit. I mean, no, you will tell me lie. Yes, you will tell me lie. You're a girl child, I mean, not trust you. As a matter of fact, hello, I owe you. Move from the gate. Move from the gate. I don't want an old man to talk to my daughter. You bright here? No, I catch you from the gate. Hey, boy. How are you? Where come from? Eh? Mom, me to not, I don't want to hear nothing about no school because that the man they don't look like a school man to me or no school boy or no school pick me. You see your face? Look at girl. Go on in my house. You're bright, boy. You turn up a fence. A fence a chat to man out here. You're out there. Go take off your book. Candy, what, what is happening? What's going on? We get so loud out here. What is up? What happened out here, so? Is why you behaving like that? The whole place could I hear you. Who trouble you? Candy, what, what, what happened? What happening out here? Why you behaving like that? Candy, I'm staying at the house a while ago and I could have heard every single thing you're out here saying. Why do you have to behave so loud? Cheese and peace. Look here now. I know say it's your daughter, Candy, but is, that is not how you should deal with her. She's a young lady coming up. You're supposed to pull her one side. You embarrass her in front of her friend. And plus that young man, I know him, you know. He's Mr. Brown's son. This young man is coming up so um, well. Cheese and peace, Candy. That was never the you right don't approach. Talk it. Hmm? I don't believe that you was the right talk. approach, Candy. You know, don't talk. Chaz, me realize, say, you want to take up my data story put on your head all the time. Like I say, you are father. It's like me not have no talk over my daughter. You are a stepfather, yes, me understand. But what don't concern you, leave it alone. This big old dirty butterfoot boy come a fence line and contact to my daughter. Who for son you say him be? That, is, that was Mr. Brown's son. Okay, so what you try to say? Mr. Brown's son only carries seed. He can't breed my daughter. Me no want no man that. come on my fence line. Contact to my daughter. She's underage. You understand me? And a matter of fact, Angel have no right. You see you? You as a stepfather, you need to talk to Angel. You hear me I tell you? Because if you play father role, you better play properly. Because you're not an opinion, you know. So I understand. But guess what? You need to take up this in control and look into what I say. Because Angel have no right to either the answer phone in or secretly. Or I mean, no, oh, you know, say man, the fence line, they wait for him out and come out here, come come talk to man a fence line. You know what can happen? Eh? You know what can happen? You don't know me used to go through with Angel alone, you know, since me and in dirty poop are left, you know. I know you come in my life before you come play for the role. You come and come take off the Angel like your Angel in a business. Look here, man. Now, let me tell you what out here today. Babes, calm down, no man. Calm down. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You take care of me. You're being overworked over me nothing. Not, me not you overwork need to calm nothing. Me not over nothing. The Sometimes truth is you just need to take a step back and step. look at the situation. She was in a conversation with the young man. I understand that. It was not appropriate because she never asked permission. I fully understand that. But at the end of the day, you should be the adult and call her, call her one side and talk to her candy. Don't just go blurt out on her like that. It, it you a fall per feel don't, bad. Don't, don't touch me, because right now I have you up. You a fall person. You know so me always they call Angel and they talk to Angel one side. They me a little young girl and nowadays they, they hear you, but they no listen, they go behind your back, go do all kind of stuff. Look more friend is missing coming with look your man. And she then that's... you go and left me and say, you're not take up no responsibility. What's one of your picnic? Chaz, you better just do me argument. Go on, happen. go on. I because I'm not I going to leave you, Candy. Chaz, I did devil send you she out to not going back to get in. pregnant, Candy. Go on in, cause eh, you better not come candy, back to me. Candy, just hear me out now, please. Just hear me out. Just for a few minutes, just hear me out. You see me? Just the other day. Just, just, just the other day, you know, I think this is, this is why the, God led, uh, the Father led me to the, um, seeing that program, you know. Just the other day, I was reading, just the other day I was reading, you know, about this program that actually helps with persons or individual parents that have this little issue with them kids and don't address it properly. Candy, the way how you talk to your child can affect them in the long run. It can scare them. Candy, and we have programs for these things that assist with how you deal with them. Candy, well, I'm not saying, me, I say. am not saying you're a bad mother. I am not saying that, Candy. <clears throat> However, we should think about how we talk to them. We should look at it. 
think about oh, yeah, it. Remember, Candy, you know, me is a our, man generation, man know. our generation of growing up, Candy, and their generation of growing up are two different things. We have to see what they must see and talk to them differently. We can't blurt out and boof back so them like what them So when me talk to my daughter Angel, me have to be careful how me talk to him because he lives there. You can so my mouth a knife. Me cut her. I Listen to me. Not what me I know so I can't can read and I'm dumb and I'm an idiot Jesus. and I have no sense. But I don't want you to come be my tutor. I don't want you to tutor me over nothing. I don't want you to lecture me over nothing. I'm my daughter. So how the hell me for use my mouth and cut me own daughter when me they talk to her? Candy. How that possible? Baby girl. Please, just hear me out. Calm down. Because I can tell you from experience, from experience, baby girl, that even me, during growing up, I have scars growing up even up to now. And I can do with some of them counseling there. Candy, I was de dealt with a raw deal when I was growing up by my parents. Yo, them used to treat me a certain way and they didn't even know what they were doing. So this is what I am seeing playing out now, how you dealing with your daughter. We are to do better. We need to do better, Candy. Look here now. There is a pastor man I know that does counseling for these things. And I believe that we can go there and actually get some of the teaching where they might teach if we do a better job as parents. You don't go with me? Me think about it. But yeah, me just I think about what I said to me because I got to use something one time he did young too. When I was a child, mm -hmm. I got through some serious situations, some bad, terrible, horrible things happened to me. You know what I say? Me left out of the yard and I don't wash the plate. And when I come back, I come back too late. And my grand aunt did want to beat me. And I know say when she had beat me, you know, man, I don't know normal beating that, you know, she used oh, anything to beat me. Anything she catch, she used me and lick me down with it. So I got through a lot of things when time me did young. And me, the way I'm afraid she beat me. I don't bother going to the house because I don't say any of me going there, I just did. So you know what I do? I did wall all she have. Then did start the upstairs part, but it never finished at that time. I walk around on the hill and go up to one little shortcut and go up on the top. And I sleep. I put the building block them to sleep. And I sleep on it because I'm afraid they lick me. One next thing again. My stepfather. Tell I promise me thief for your money and I, I oh, swear to geez. God, pan God life say a line they tell. Me never do it. And my mother, you know, some first time people, yeah. them rather listen to them and instead of them picking my mother, believe him. Oh, or if I, if, if I never believe she believe him, God forgive me if he judge her wrongfully. But she listen when he say. And she did want to beat me. Say me not to take things away enough for me. And the way I'm afraid of the beating. Me no bother going in the house. Me go in the house, but I'm going to sleep. Jesus. I went board house that. And he went have cellar. You know what they call cellar? Yes. Underneath the house, but I'm sleep on the day. So that's why me and Fee, they try to take out back there and sit me upon Angel because me don't want she to breathe for me. I don't want it to happen for her either. But this is not the way we should deal with it. I believe. We need to talk to them, understand them, and reason with them better. Let us not deal with it in a public setting, but do it behind closed doors. I believe, say, if we go to a counseling session, yeah, we will get better you tools if we can manage this situation. I true, you are talking. I true, you are talking. Yeah, man, no worry but, yourself about it, man. I don't want to stress me out, because I have it real hard with her if you send her to school, and I'm alone, thank God. I mean, right I want here she here. end up get pregnant before time. I need she take her book at school, get her subject them and come out more progressive and successful more than me. Cause me you never know, go no school. The one little time when they send me go to school, I must say half of the week me go and me not go back for the whole year again. So from this, so me not go, so me not know how to spell right cat nor bat. But see me here today, me want she can live a better life than when me used to live before. That's why me have a strict partner, so, so you have to see with me, man. I understand, baby girl, but hear what? You are not alone. I am here and I am in this with you, Candy. Believe me. But there, that's why me I try my best to be a good stepfather to her. And you have to just trust me when I say we need to talk and we need to talk to her in a manner where she will understand. And All we right can get then. understanding. All right, let me see All right. what that lady All right, my baby. Mm. Let's see how mm. Mr. Charles? My dear, Candy, 
Um, you see, the greatest thing is to make the first step towards counseling. You see, to accept counseling is to accept that there is actually something that is wrong, right? And in this case, um, we want not to blame anybody of any you know situation or nothing at all. Cause this is not the blame game place. How about I fix your eye? Fix your eyebrow, man, and just relax. This is no blame game. This is accepting and moving forward. This is conclusion. You understand me? So when you 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 you, you, you step with your house with any issues and you come here so in this zone, this quiet area, it's called conclusion. Right? So we're gonna find, you know. A meeting ground for everybody if you understand you know where to go on a better you know note right so mr charles yes. glad to have you here man you know what i mean good to be back yes man miss candy tell me a bit about you know so, so, so look a bit about the, you know the situation that how you see it and how you view it okay i really really got through some childhood trauma I understand mm -hmm. And uh, I was so unhappy growing up as a child. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anybody personally taking care of me to show me a mother love or a fatherly love. I understand. So I've been through a lot of stuff, hard stuff, mm -hmm. real rough life. Mm -hmm. Sleep like sleep um like sleep underneath the cellar. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oxfam. Yeah, and I go through a lot of things like they want to beat me because I didn't wash the plates and mm -hmm. they don't give me any food to eat. I understand. Yeah, they, they, were, um, they were very strict in my life. Everything beating. That's and nice. sometimes I know definitely that I was a rude little girl, mm -hmm. but... Let me stop it right there. Most of the time when they beat me, sir. Let me stop it right there. Listen to me. You see the first thing you just said? You were a rude little girl. Yeah, but... Listen to me, please. Rude, I please. don't mean that I... Please. Something that... Candy, one second. All right. You see, when you say about a rude little girl, I want you to, uh, you know, erase that. Growing up, everybody's exploring. So, there's no way you can say you're rude, you can't say this. That's it's what they just, told me. Exactly, they that's what... They beating me. They said, um, you're very rude. You know, like sometimes when I leave and go over by my neighbor's house where my friends are and we're playing, they exactly. so they just beat with anything. And that's what I'm saying. It is very wrong for somebody to just, um, you know, stigmatize this rude word on you and make you feel like you're actually doing something wrong when you're actually exploring. You don't know. You understand me? Because as a child, that is how it goes. You know? A lot of children are growing up in situations right now when they don't even understand what are they doing wrong. Because nobody explains situation. You know what I mean? When, when my wife is beating um, the kids or, you know, you know not murderizing, because, we, we, you know, we have to... Discipline. Discipline. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, put that word in, because, you know, we're, you know, we're Jamaican and as a pastor of the culture, you know what I mean? You know, we still have to use certain words. But when my wife is taking charge of certain things, what she does, is she, t she tell them what they're doing and what they're not supposed to do. So they have a comprehensive knowledge of what the situation is. So at no point... They are misleaded in regards to how they are getting the um the 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 the, the discipline as 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 Mr. Chaz has said. Mr. Chaz, I can feel your energy that you are, you know, you are um, a trying man, and you are uh, you know confident in what you're doing, and you know I, I can see the energy that you you know pull towards Miss Candy. I really do support her, you know, mm -hmm. just guiding her along the way and. Yes, sir. You know, imparting some of the knowledge that I got from you mm -hmm. because I was once a, a student in your class learning a lot of what you are saying now. Wow. And so it's well good that I'm in a situation where I can help Candy, Candy and mm -hmm. um, show her a certain way, you know, show her the light. Yeah. And so this is definitely something I encourage her to come and um, take part and in. And take part in, exactly. Because I, I understand that you see in this, um, in this mission that we have called life, we have to be more caring and sharing. Definitely. You understand me? Definitely. And a lot of people are ignorant to this kind of um, way or method. It's because they doubt themselves. They're insecure about how people view them and all these things. So, you know, it's good to have somebody 
that, are, you know, you know, that, 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 that actually can, you know, pull you in the right path. Because let me tell you, you know, this, this place is conclusion. So never you doubt yourself. Even today is a, is, a, um, is a day that, you know, is not like yesterday. So don't expect the same thing today that happened yesterday. You understand me? You can only be a better person each day. Right? Lessons. Life is full of tests. And you will not have a testimony without those tests. You understand me? And your testimony de describes who you are and where you're going to go in life. I'm a pastor, you know. Till I used to be one of those um, rug rats going to the bar thinking that that is where I need to cool off my mind. You understand me? And it's life and the, the power of the Almighty that shine within all the struggles that I've been through and showed me the right path. I can see this is the right path. This is, there's no doubt about it. So I want you to understand that faith without works is dead. So put more faith within your relationship and it will happen. Don't think, say tomorrow you're not going to have negative vibes. In it. But it's how you conclude it. You understand me I said to you? Yes. And as a pastor, you know that only prayer alone can heal all of this. Right? So, Miss Candy, you want to start the prayer? No, no? sir. Long time of prayer? Mm -hmm. When I say prayer, Mr. Charles? No, I'm going to lie to you, no, Pastor. It's been a minute, but I definitely know what, what I need to be giving thanks for and mm -hmm. what I'm asking for. So, you know, it's not a hard thing to actually do. Yeah, man, come on, man. It's just like talking on a cell phone. When you dial in, you want to connect with the person you're trying to connect with. So it's the same thing when you're talking to God. You, 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 you dial in, which is on your knees. And you talk to him, explain the message, and hopefully the other arm end can be, you know what I mean, the same thing. So let us pray. Miss Candy, Mr. Charles. Father God, this couple is here. This, this couple is here because they are trying. This couple are, are you know, you know, are witnessing and, and going through a lot of um, situations, mentioned and unmentioned. I want you to cover them, Father. Only way they, you, only way they can cover them is if they accept your word and your blessing towards them as a couple. Individually, you see that Candy has been through a lot, trauma and all this negative energy that she thinks she's wrong for. And Father God, I want you to clear her mind. Clear her mind! Cover her with nothing but good energy. Let her feel that vibes that you have created for us freely. Because it's a decision that we have to make to actually accept the healing. And before the healing can take place, we have to accept it. Mr. Charles is here. And he is one of the persons that you have placed in Candy's life to protect her. And shield her. Continue to watch over them. Individually and together. And you know my prayer. Amen. 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 And this is how it is. I know you can feel a different energy and different vibe. Why? Because you believe. You believe. So from this day forward. Accept that. Together. Is stronger. And the conclusion of all the negative. Put them aside. Don't ever try to get over the situation. You'll never get over it. You understand me? Just find a way to move around it and go forward. And you'll never get over it. Because it's always going to be there. It's memories. You think we're a computer? Eh? We can't delete. We're going to press Alt, Control and Delete. No. It's not possible. So you just move forward and life starts. That's a new journey. Yeah, man. So, as we say, Go and have, just enjoy life. And if you want to come to the church, you can come by the church whenever you can. You know what I mean? We open on Saturdays. You know what I mean? You can come and, you know, the offering collection is always open. You know what I mean? Because the Lord, what the Lord does is create ways to, you know, help the community. Because if you look at me, you know that I'm a person that helps people a lot. Yes. You understand yes. me? So have a wonderful day, Mr. Chaz. Thank Ms. you. Candy. And in the name of Jesus, you will be free of all the negative energy. Let's feel this thing. Don't go over it. Go around it.
Okay. All right, babe. Thank See you. you. Better. Mm -hmm. Can I get in your song? Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? Have a wonderful day, Mr. Charles. All right. It's candy. Babes, not in the ice still, you know. Up on the plum tree, it's full of plum. I really think some of them juice in there, man. Yeah, man. I don't some say nice plum and ginger. Yeah, man, I, I like some of that. I'll get a piece of ginger and put in there. A little bit of sugar. Not too sweet. Make it taste natural and normal and nice and refreshing with some ice. Like and cook that. one nice plate of dinner for you. I want the food for real nice. I'm sure it's out in a place so you enjoy it because you deserve it. You know the reason why I call you out here, sir? It's because we need to show you how I appreciate you in me and Angel Life. You play a father role. The role that you play in Angel Life as a real biological father is better when you breed me. Because I don't tell no lie that Monday, when I make home breed me and give me angel, he don't deserve to get angel. Then the kind of Monday, he not deserve to pick me like them. Yeah. Remember, I say angel brilliant in a man. She don't done, see no. And if you take up a man like you, I don't even want to really rate and you know, certain things I don't want to talk to you nice about him, I get ignorant over everything. Because I never know so you would really stand up. As a stepfather to my child, eh? Yeah. Oh God, man. Me appreciate everything where you do. Everything. Me thank you so much, hundred million infinity time. Me thank you so much. Me love where you do. And me appreciate it. God know me not do nothing for cause no problem between me and you. A matter of fact, why me never meet you before me meet this man? Yeah. And me, me now nah, say me sorry say me have angel you know me glad say me have been daughter but me sorry say me breed for the wrong man. But you see all of the childhood trauma when me go through, when me used to tell you about and sitting, yeah, me go through a lot of trauma as a child until now. It is in my head until today. So me used to have to take out the pan angel and sometimes me I take out the pan you too, and you know do me not you know. One thing with you all is I try to show me love and respect and I calm me down and sit and it's like me see it and I can't see it because I become like my spiritual blind right there. So. But please, may I ask you to forgive me. I'm sorry for the way I treat Angel and how I treat you. Especially Angel, the way I deal with her, like say, you know, just because I want to go through in a real life already, I did a take out the panera. And it is not good for we deal with the children, them like that, you know, good at all. We have to know if we sit down and have a mother and daughter or a mother and son conversation so we can build a connection to have a stronger relationship between the family you understand you know make sure. no sense me beat them and lick them down and punish them and do them all kind of things because then we grew up with the same trauma and even worse too but thank god you was there for angel you was there for me at the end of the day you show we love you take care of angel you send her to school you buy her a book them our textbook everything you pay for all our subject then hey Every subject angel wants to pay for me, I have to worry about you was right there first. So I thank you so much. And a matter of fact, give the city mother them out there, we mother. We need to show Uno man as stepfather. We come play a father role in our children them life. And he pick them and a phone. And a phone of blood, but you know, deal with them like say a phone of personally picnic. A phone of children, them a phone of child. You know, deal with them one good, good way as a daddy. You stand up and play the role. I don't tell you no lie. God know me respect that. I love that. And I tell you thank you for even the mother them we out there. They need, we a matter of fact woman need to show you know, the appreciation. Or we grateful. And thank you know, very much for taking care of children we are no phone you know, because you see real father them. Some of them. Hey man, some of them real father they never forget no youth. Because right now enough man out there so wish then could I get one youth to say, yes, this is my, my child, my daughter, my son. Yeah. You understand? And then turn around and help we as a mother, single mother, then help with so. You see, stepfather then be, I don't tell no lie. You know, good enough. Me I tell you no, the stepfather then we come play father role in a children life. You know, good me I tell you no, say we love you know, we appreciate you know. Yes, we know a relationship is a ups and down things and little argument we go on in there, but we rate you no know, more than enough real father. Yeah man, 
rate you for that and thank you very much for everything we are doing for me and Angel. It was right there for you, babes. I not tell online. I love that. Always did it. Thank man. you. I got always yeah, did it. And I really do appreciate the fact that you, you, you acknowledge it. So your sister may play a role and I like that. You see me? And I wouldn't have it any other way. Because you, you treat me like I'm equal to you. I'm respect that an angel. Angel lead me like me is her father. She doesn't, she's never disrespectful. She's always honorable to me. So I'm official appreciation I for know, that. One at a time, you know, babes, my mind did a play tricks for me too, you know. So on things when I say to you, pertaining to angel, you know, I never mean to say them. I just to when I go to when I small. As I tell you before, Things when we go to when we small, we they take out the power we kids them and in a right, it wrong. That's true. It wrong. That's we know if we do that as a parent, we know if we do that. So thank God, God did send in my life, you know. And I thank you for caring me go get the counseling. Because you see, if I never care me go get counseling, I would be the same person today. I take this advantage of my own child and I know I say, I cruel me, I cruel to, to, to the child. Wicked to the picnic and make she grow up with trauma and then she now go forget all of the wickedness then we are one and mother do her. So thank you. If you care me go get the counseling, thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you. Me can't stop thank you. God know I me love you so much. Cause you always did it for me. You hear? Anyway, we could go pick the plum them. You can pick them. Alright, I'm gonna pick them up. We wash them off and, and cut them up and blend them out and make it juicy, yeah? yeah? Alright, baby. Alright. Tonic. So, as we always are say, if there are persons out there that want to improve them sexual experience, link up Dr. Jack to the number up on his shirt. You know me I say he has some some male enhancement pills. At the end of the day, people might feel afraid and say, "Oh, me no need that. Me no need that." It's not no Viagra. You know me I say it's not a Viagra. It's a healthy product in terms of natural herbs and, and bushes them in you say make the capsule them and they are for enhancement you don't know you can't expect say if you are if you are 50 or 60 or 40 you're gonna be the same as a 19 year old and 20 year old you know me i say so it just helps to boost your sexual drive and not only that on a day-to-day -day basis if you're, you're a man who work hard you know say you're gonna need something for you just give you that extra strength because like, you work hard. You know what I mean? I said, I'm not about sick, not that about from a healthy perspective, you want something to make you feel healthy and strong. So the pill also helps to boost that. And he also has a bottle for the ladies that we need to get them body detox. If you can't get pregnant, 
that can also help you. So link him up, same, same, same Instagram um, handle there. So you can check him out on Instagram. It's Dr. Jack Bedroom Tonic. Check him out on Instagram and here is his telephone number. Link him up and yeah, he can make some arrangement how you get him product, all right? How the hell me you use my mouth and cut? <laughs> 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 oh, the hell I, 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 I reach you over there and they love. I reach you. Alright, help me. Even sometimes you have to use you in a scenario. Put yourself right. in a scenario. I'm trying even to you're talking, even me. You're talking sometimes. No, no, no. Oh. Even me sometimes. Remember some things when we used to go to as a picnic. Uh, even me feel like say, would I really need to get liquor um counseling? Liquor counseling. You know myself if you didn't go childhood trauma with me go through so who knows? Maybe you just need to just see one counselor and you talk to them. Then I can say, alright. Then I can accept you and say, alright, make up, make up, make up, make up, make me go a counseling, go get like a counseling to you. You know what I say? And sometimes if for two, you know, you're saying the one. For candy, you're the thing so for two car. Remember, say, I tell him about something. Maybe. Tell me about something. Where did you get to sleep? Yeah. Like, no, and uh, me, me sleep. We can't even want to leave me. Go for the house, stop go sleep. And I, and one night, me sleep on the house. But I'm yes, so tell him that too. Mm. So tell him that. Say, you're right. You know, can't remember when you picked me. You know. How did you do? I did go and make up. Uh, How did you do? No, my granddad did want to leave me, so I go for a female stop. And then one time, no, me up on my mother. And yeah, mother. Tell him about that. Yeah, my mother they follow my stepfather about me, about me TV money. My mother they follow my stepfather about about me TV money, and then then they want to lick me so me plan for not going in the house. Me plan, me plan for not going in the house, so me go in the house, but I'm going to sit down. I'm not taking no lick. After I said that, you're upset. You answer, alright. I tell you about the story. Let me see now. Walk out. Ready now? Come. Yo, can you can you say something? I hold it. I hold it. I lead a while ago. Me or she did a lead a while ago. I never remember. Me, I did that. Yeah, can you say that? The knife, ball cutting. So what the hell? Me mouth for go cutting. Right, right, right. You come in on LG and calm down and say, even me myself got to X, Y, Z and things so me have childhood trauma. Right. After one. Yeah, I already heard it. Just get out in the next. When you come back. Then we can always, um... And you see, you tell me, say, you go drop me and you go have... Yeah, if I don't, me, me, if I don't, me just, just go... Let me see that now, that's what that's... Come on. Good. It's Erica, right? Yeah. Okay, of course. Hmm. Ami? Knife. Yeah. Oh. Yes. My God, my grand... My... Jesus. Jesus Christ. My stepdaughter. Your daughter, my stepdaughter. And I got me reflect upon. <laughs> no, give me back your gift again. Give me back your gift again. <laughs> Yo, that I told him I'm sure that he tried to cook that. No, no. No, you can't joke or I say, no, you say, man, I joke, me, I joke. You can't. You can't tell. No, this is a free movie. This is a free movie. A free movie. A free movie. Yeah. Yeah. You should have tricked him. You should have tricked him. Tell him. Say no, no, yes, yes, yes. Jamie, change it. There's, there's so Miss Ikiak come. Jamie, change your angle. Change your No, all of them else. What is that for? So no, let's let um LG let's go to your partner. Um. So, you can just um, send the money to my account. And no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 all right, cool, cool. So, so, many, many, no. So, re ready? A <laughs> 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 reality, you know, for them, for them, them great business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them drop, man, ensure to drop a donation. Yeah, you know, man. Where you yeah, see fit, you know, in yeah, you know, the day. No, wait, no, wait, wait. Is that enough for them? Enough for them? Enough for them? Enough for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Ready. We have the black pop. Ready? Ready. All right, so big up on yourself, big up on yourself. As always, thank you guys for watching. So, this is the second movie for the start of the year, but you don't know we continually put in the good work as we know you guys are loving what we're doing and you guys are supporting but you don't know 
sorry if you have eaty fathers them so bad but you don't know these are topics that we have to highlight and we have to put an emphasis upon until we see change occur yes may i say so we do know there are good fathers out there there are fathers who really play active role in their child's life i'm sure say then you get the best love and uh, all of the necessary things to get to become a productive human being in a society but you don't know so we just highlight this one here in in terms of you still have good stepfathers even though we have beat the father but not the one here we do have good stepfathers we do have some men who step up to the plate and even when the child is not their child they still ensure so them play a part and them love the child as if the mother own and ensure say things go the way how it should and that's how sometimes we need it we need some things like those we need some men to step up to the plate even when you know your youth and be a father to them you know me i say and not abuse them you see me so big up on yourself continue to love and cherish the kids them whether them are yours or not you know we still need a village to raise a child you know you know me i say so big up on yourself um let's touch on a few things before me, 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 me come out for the video um we do still always I try to get new actresses to be a part of what we're doing. You get me? I say, and I know a lot of persons might contact me and then we still know reach out back to them. But it's just that maybe they are not exactly what I'm looking for. You know me? I say, I don't really want to say everybody not talented. Cause you know, we are all Jamaicans with full of talent. But I'm looking for something special. You know me? I say, I look for an actress where. I'm not going to say be an ex candy, but because candy are big ones, so we need some young people too. So we need some other young people who can join in and, 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 and match up. You know what I say? When we put them in a movie, people can talk about them. So that is the reason why you hear me. I say continuously, I say I need new females. It's not that females are not contacting me. You know, them are reach out to me, but at the end of the day, it's not what I am looking for. You know what I say? And we don't want to stop the thing at one place. We want the, 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 the film industry to grow. We want to grow from strength to strength. And we want to get better at what we do. And we want to touch the big screens. But we can't do it with the people them alone we have. We need other persons to come on board and be a part of something great. So if you are a female and you're out there, reach out to me. Richard Brown Films. And once you reach out to me, then we can make all the necessary arrangements. I tell you how it go, And you can be a part of what we're doing here over here in West Milan. All right, big up on yourself. Most time when people contact me and they wonder, will we be going to stay if we have a point of accommodation? So if you can see in the background, this is the apartment. We, have, we don't rent the entire apartment. We rent one section of it. So therefore, we have room for anybody who comes somewhere and can stay and we provide food. You know, I'm for accommodation. So reach out to me and we can make it work. Also, we cannot stop saying that we cannot, lim we cannot limit it now. But we used to do it more where we ask for help and we ask for donation. We still need donation. So if there are persons out there that want to contribute towards what we're doing, you know, you watch a movie, you love what you love what we are doing, and you can afford to support the movement from a financial standpoint. Link we up. We can make the necessary arrangement and you send where you can send. We don't tell how much you send. Send where you can send. We use it towards helping to make things move forward just the same and if there are persons out there who possibly want to invest in what we are doing don't be don't be afraid don't be shy if you reach out to me and we can discuss you investing in what we're doing and you know the so investment deserve returns so we have to go figure out the part that wants to call it also um what else more to touch upon yeah if you're there foreign and you want to pack a barrel for send going we will also accept that because one of the things we realize we are short of in terms of what we're doing is props so if persons can send some props away, we're glad. Some police uniform, some more nurse clothes, some doctor clothes, um, some fireman clothes. You know what I mean? I said somebody we are up on a garbage truck, some prison uniform, you know, stuff like those. We need them for, for help, for do other movies. You know what I mean? I said because sometimes we, we don't want to stop one place. Sometimes we all need all, some UPS uniform where we can take off UPS and we can put on some other logos and make it work. So when we reach out to it, and make we know if you want to do anything whether it be cash or kind we do accept it and as i said we need new females and remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed and also go over my instagram page richard brown films and follow me you know me i said we need all the support we can get for the thing reach to the fullest potential because we don't intend to just talk it right so the sky's the limit last year we had plans and there are things that we wanted to accomplish but we still have to just go and ease ourselves and wait but i feel like this year 2024 
is the year of transformation and doing the things that we want to do in filmmaking. So big up on yourself, continue to show love and support while we continue to do what we are doing and you guys continue to share up the video and do all of the necessary good things. Big up on yourself and see you in the next video.